We're here in Tofino, British Columbia on the west coast of Vancouver Island and we're going to be fishing in the Race for the Blue Albacore Tuna Tournament which is hosted by Tofino Resort and Marina and all the boats will be competing for the grand prize of $25,000 cash. Fishing with me this year are two local Tofino legends. Billy McGinnis and Jeff Hale, and a buddy of mine from Calgary is going to be coming out to join us is uh, Kerry Tyconic, who's going to be the greenhorn on the boat. He's never actually fished for Albacore tuna. It's the day before the official start of the derby, and me and my buddy Kerry are going to head down to the boat and make sure everything's in order. On our way down to the boat, I ran into a familiar face down here at the marina, the resident expert on Albacore tuna fishing, my good buddy, Willie Mitchell. And Willie Mitchell is a good buddy of mine. We've known each other now for, geez, over 20 years. We became teammates in Vancouver, and, and most of our time now is actually spent on the water together. When we have free time, we hit the water and uh, look for adventure. Willie has uh, developed a true passion for the blue water and chasing these albacore tuna. One would say he's probably addicted to getting out to the blue water, and that's why he's a big part of hosting this event here in Tofino. Willie, Carrie. my buddy Kerry. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Kerry? Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you, Kerry. Just came in from Calgary to today. Oh, yeah? Nice. Seen you in a few great pictures. Uh oh. <laughs> Big fish. Yeah, me, yeah. And him, me and him tend to uh, make magic happen. Yeah, yeah. There's like two guys in BC, it's like Brendan. Like seriously, every time we go out, there's something like crazy or good happens. And uh, a guy named Jeremy Kresge is like a really great photographer. I go out with him and it's always like, some rare like stuff what's never happened before happens so awesome. we yeah. got a good mojo yeah we got good mojo, mojo for yeah. sure mo <laughs> but there's no mo willy not yeah. mojo <laughs> <laughs> we went out yesterday and yeah we probably had 40 tuna by noon yeah. it was a pretty cool it's day, day. Yeah. it was the, it, like they were they were boiling all over the place just like just exploding the surface that that's success for us is like everyone getting tuna you know right yeah. it's so it's it's not bad it's uh you know, there's some guys. There's some guys who don't know how to get tuna. Hey, Pat. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> well, I can get some tuna. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, yeah, you're always like just. At the end of the day, it's gonna be so much fun. But if everyone was struggling to get two or three fish, then it's like it's not a yeah, successful event. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's impatient. out of our control. But still, you want people to do well, and so I think I think we'll start off pretty well. Okay, dude, we're gonna uh, uh, roll over to our boat. We got some, uh, oh, you can't look in there. Can't look in that bag. Secret <laughs> weapons. <laughs> and uh, no, we're excited. Yeah, Looking forward awesome. to it. No, it's gonna be a we'll, uh, killer. We'll be at the captain meeting here and be ready to go. Yeah. Good luck to you. It's time to head to our Kingfisher boat. and We're gonna uh, finalize some details that need to be taken care of. And I'm gonna give Kerry a rundown of what he can expect out on the water tomorrow. We have these outriggers that we're going to put off the off the top of the roof, and we're going to run six to eight rods, depending on what we want our spread to look like. So, essentially, you know, it's a top water fishery, and you're just basically trying to cover as much like the spread as you can, and you're trying to create havoc. Really, you're trying to create a commotion, and that's the vibration is what attracts these fish. It's not so much scent or anything like that at all. It's more vibration. We'll probably we'll run. One out of here, we'll run one out of this downrigger, and we'll run another one out behind. So we'll run three on each side, it'll be six, and then two up top will be eight. So we'll have like a long rod, we'll go up, we'll clip it into a clip, you'll feed that line up, it'll sit at the end of the outrigger. So the widest lines will be your long lines, and then 
as you work back, they'll become shorter. So they'll be long, mid, short. Right. And then these will be like shotgun rods. They'll be right up the middle, straight at the back. And uh, it's, it's, it's actually, it's unbelievable when, when you hit a fish. Because we're using like essentially halibut rods, you know, 80 to 80 to 100 pound uh, braided line. Mm -hmm. And uh, with 200 pound mono leaders. So these fish are violent and they swim so fast. Like when we're trolling tomorrow, you know, typically when you troll for, for salmon, you're two and a half to three miles per hour. Here we're gonna be going about six and a half to seven miles per hour. Okay. So much faster. Yeah. So when you get a bite, it's like you actually hear like a whack. And this will just start screaming, peeling line for like a minute. And you can't do anything except hold on and just that fish will just peel line. Yeah, yeah. And, such, and because they're a schooling fish, mm -hmm. usually if you get one, be ready, because you might get two, three, four at the same time. And then it's mayhem. All four guys got a rod <laughs> in their hand, running around. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Finally finished up on the boat. We got an early morning tomorrow. Uh, official start is going to be a shotgun start at 6 a.m. But now, before bedtime here, we're going to grab a quick bite to eat at 1909 Kitchen. What a buzz there is this morning down at the marina. A lot of uh, excitement, a lot of anticipation. The weather looks good, the water looks good. There's reports of fish around. It's kind of a unique experience when you have a shotgun start. All the boats are kind of slowly moving into position. It's, it's pitch black out. I have visions of winning the derby at the end of the week. I have a lot of faith in my crew. We know exactly the coordinates we want to get to. Now it's just a matter of putting our mercuries to work and getting out there fast and safe. As the light starts to come into play and, and the dark fades away, the main thing you're looking for is, is a temperature break in the water. Like these albacore tuna fish primarily travel along the temperature break between warm and cool water, usually in that kind of 62 to 64 degree range. The other key is kind of watching the color of the water and, and everybody calls it the blue water and it's literally what happens is you kind of go from a greenish tinge in your wash behind the boat to blue water that you would find in Hawaii. It's quite the transition and, and usually when you find that blue water it is right when the temperature change occurs. So you know when we get a bite it's going to be a violent thump like whoop and then that thing will just start screaming. And then when when you, do you want to pull it out? Oh, oh grab, you can pull it out when they're running. But you can pull out. What, when it goes off, we'll tell you. Um, Do they pop out at all? Oh, all most, times. most times. Most times, if you get a good fish on, that line will that line will pop off that clip, right. boom, and it'll be straight back running. Okay. So we'll grab the rod, just hold it, and then when it's time, it's just going to be. Uh, you don't even really have to touch the drag. It's set. They pull out of the water. At all? No, they won't jump. Yeah, they won't. They won't jump. It'll be just, you know, basically, when they've done, done that initial run, it's gonna be just pull up, yeah. reel down. Pull up, reel down. Okay. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, we had eight rods, this one. I'm gonna put that up. Stinger, way out the back, got it. Okay, feels so good. Just in the, one of the higher I think so. back there? Yeah. Okay. Two cowbells, boys. <laughs> Never have enough cowbells. We want to see which one it is. There, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Very rarely do you get a tangle, which is nice, even when you're running. Like today, we got eight rods going. I mean, there's a lot of guys out here that run 14, 16 lines. Uh, in this derby, we cannot use um, hand lines tied off the back. A lot of guys like to fish them with hand lines. It's quicker to get the fish in but uh, a lot more sporting on rod and reel. So uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can show you the drill here pretty soon. So let him go. You're in the game, bud. That's what we're looking for. Just wait till he runs. Once he stops running, carry, then reel. You're good. Don't need, you, don't need, you won't do anything for about a minute. Bring that cowbell, Jeffrey. Yay! Come on. Double, double, double. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Well, that didn't take too long, boys. Good call on the stop, eh? Good water temp. Billy, good driving, bud. Water looks real nice. 
It's a great sound, eh? That I'm just waiting for it. And it's just, oh, yeah. Anxiety, oh, I know. Just when's that first bite going to happen? Do you want me to direct it? Yeah, yeah. when well, you can come over here a little bit, Tyker. I'll grab the boat when it comes in. Hold on. I can gaff him on that side, too. Oh, he's a nice fish. You good, Jeff? Yeah, keep going. Look at this. Look at this. OK, good taker there. Good. Yeah. It's not bad. Nice first fish, taker. Well done. Nicely played. Cheers. That's that. Good job, buddy. Thank nice you. job. <laughs> That's the start to our day. Five minutes in. Nice. Beautiful fish. Nice. 12, 14 pounds, maybe? Nice. We'll get him uh, bled in that bucket there, and then uh, we'll get these rods back out. The anticipation and suspense waiting for that first bite is almost unbearable. Just knowing all the prep work you put in, all the hard work to get ready, and when that first bite happens and that reel starts screaming, it puts the biggest smile on your face and it really is kind of a sense of accomplishment. So here's the right here, Mo. This is, here's the trick. You gotta pre-butter your buns and you slap a little parchment in between there. Yeah. Otherwise they just stick together and so they the, just the get parchment destroyed. is the key. The parchment's the key. Oh. I do oh, not. Boy, I can smell it already. Feel good for anybody who's downwind of us. I'm gonna eat my hand off pretty soon. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there's the bacon. Oh, it smells good. Just that thin little smear of the special sauce here. Just enough so it gives you something, Mo. Put some there. bacon on top of that bad boy. Slap some more fun on there. Mo, oh, get that in your mouth. Oh, buddy. Thank you for that. Yeah, oh. Thanks, eh? Oh. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. You ready for a little egg sandwich? Bro? Uh -oh. That's good, man. What a sandwich. Egg. Bacon special sauce. Well, oh, doesn't get any better. The gov grilling the most does it again. Somebody's got to look after you while you're away. Have already cheese too. Have already cheese. Oh. How's that taste? That good? Shut your mouth. Good. Shut your mouth. <laughs> oh. Jeff, you're back in. What's got your name on that one? This is what we signed up for. Oh, they're a strong fish, like, you know, for like a pelagic fish, right? Warm blooded. And their initial run is incredible. Like we're, we're fishing halibut gear. That's what you use essentially for these fish. You know, a 15, 20, 25 pound albacore will kick your butt. Like, you know, I'm laying right into this fish. He wants nothing to do with coming in. You know, it's all about the first run for these fish, really. And the take, it's epic. It's violent. Now the work begins. He's kind of stopped his big initial run. And now the work begins. But the fun thing about this fishery is usually when you get into one, you get into multiple. They're schooling fish. And that's when mayhem really starts happening on the boat. Jeez, come on, Brendan, get this fish in. Yeah, he's still down. There's some color, we see color. Oh yeah, baby. Hey. It's a dandy. That's a high teener. Hey. Nice fish. Ah, he's 16 maybe. Hey. Well done. What a fight though. Double, double up, double up. Come on. We got two, two, we're looking for three, we're looking for three, we got two, we're looking for three. There. Got three, 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 looking for four. 
Pandemonium. Here we go. It's happening. Hey, this is the first two bites on this side today. This fish is still taking some line here. We might have to back her off a little bit, just a little bit. A little bit. Double up, double, double. Still looking for that quad. Got her triple. Oh, that's not that bad though. A double header is not that bad. Whoo, color! Oh, yeah, that's a not bad fish. Stay there, Billy. You're up. Throw you. We'll just go back on the line. Tuna tataki. Tuna. Bubble tuna. <laughs> tuna! Tuna, 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 tuna. Chicken of the sea. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. It's a nice fish, dude, like a nice fish. Look at it as, as dorsal fin there. He just had it up. It just shows. See how that thing just tucks right in there? Spins on the side. So you flip around, tuck right in. It's actually indented anatomically how it's, this fish is built. Look at this fin when he's cruising, tucks right in there, no drag at all. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that eyeball. What a sweet fish, man. Yeah. The Kingfisher boat was, was spectacular for us. We have the toad on board and we're fishing. We have five guys on the back deck. I mean, there's a ton of room. We got a barbecue set up back there. You got a huge, huge dance floor, which is great. You know, we ran into some rough weather and uh, it's a smooth, safe ride, very reliable. You feel very confident when you're in that boat. Whoa, that thing is screaming. That's sweet music right there. But that's some motivation to get this fish in as quick as I can. Oh, they're almost oh, done. Oh, yeah. I'm going to miss yeah, out. They're going to they're gonna rest in that cast iron pan for a bit. Know we and, uh, that that'll be that, Mo. Sometimes it's difficult to tell just exactly how big the fish is because you're, we're traveling at six and a half, seven miles an hour. so. And we don't really want to slow down too much because you want to try and get multiple hookups at the same time. Because usually when you get one, you get a couple because they're schooling together. But when, when you slow down, it, it affects your, your troll. And I mean, it's such a fun fishery. You know, it's still when you talk to people about catching tuna off the west coast of Vancouver Island, a lot of times they can't even believe it. But if you ever get a chance to experience it, it's it's a huge adrenaline rush this and it's a lot of fun. Dance, <laughs> <laughs> listening, listening to your sweet words just makes me want to you dance. You just sold the truth for me. <laughs> <laughs> right in that wheelhouse, eh? Same, same, yeah. Nice work. Thank you, sir. Good job, boys. Well, we're gonna give you this big bad boy right there. Give me the Stick, biggest, baddest one you got. Rare. It's juicy. That bad boy. What do you think of that? <laughs> that just melts in your mouth. Now we're in a triple A beef tender one. Look at that. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. That's living on the boat. Tuna fishing. Uh, how's that look? Steak sandwich. Oh, yeah. Prime time. You nailed it, bud. I can't wait to mine. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. Yeah, I got her. Okay, hold on. Grab this. Grab that. It's good, dude. We're good. This is a long stinger out there on the black and blue again. Yeah, the purple black. That's a good one. The uh, port side of the boat's on fire right now. Triple header. Come on now. Woo! 2020. Sending a message. You don't like being cold. <sighs> nice and steady. Nice and steady. That's a nice brush. Good job, Billy. 
Just about here, Billy. Me too. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish, fat fish. Get him in. That's a good fish. You might as well stay there. We got one more coming. I don't think this one's that big though. Nice fish again. Get that in. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Nice, boys. Job. Nice job. There we go. Triple there we header. Go. <laughs> what a day. Awesome. Sweet. What a tremendous day out on the water we had. Just great company. I mean, I can guarantee you there's not another boat in the fleet that ate like we did. This tuna fishing game is, the adventure is, is a big part of it. Like, when you see these fish in the water and get to see their color, is you know, just how they're built. I mean, they're an amazing, amazing fish. You just kind of shake your head in appreciation when you see these beautiful fish in hand. The things you get to experience when you head offshore, I mean, the whole package really is uh, phenomenal. I want to say thank you to Tofino Resort and Marina for hosting such a marvelous event. It's a big undertaking, you know, hosting this many people, but they, they did a fantastic job, and I look forward to seeing everyone again there next year.